people, I spent a lot of hours yesterday making this new value list, so my last value list was about the values because it was just what everything cost and materials to craft it for, and just everything that everything costed, and this value list, I averaged what things are being traded for, so these are the actual values of what things are being traded for, so hopefully you guys like this value list, and I'm gonna show it here right now, but it's going to be in the pinned messages and the Skyblock trading channel and my Discord server, linked in the description. So join that if you want it, and if it's blurry for you, you can just save image and then zoom in on it, or you can try zooming on Discord, but it might be blurry. So here it is, this is version 15.1, I update it every time the game updates, and if the game doesn't update for a few days, then I just update it every few days. So most of the values for everything that's been in the game for a while is just gonna stay like that, like under blocks, most of them have been in the game for a while. So everything new, the value is constantly changing, so again this is gonna be in the pinned messages and my discord server on the Skyblock trading channel, so join that if you wanna see it. And also, for some reason it's blurry on discord when you zoom in, but it's not really blurry and I can see it completely fine whenever I zoom on it like this. But the first thing in the value list is crops, and well, crops are worth what they are sold for, so all of those, except fertilizer, that's just what it's going for, tall grass, and then flowers, and then the buffalo island, there's only two things, the island key and the crystal, which those are the things that it's being traded for, and the Buffalo Island thing used to change in values a lot, but now it's pretty secure at those values. And then for blocks, like I said, all of this stuff has been in the game for a while, so the values aren't really changing on it. Same with all of this stuff. The only kind of recent change, well for this update, Torch, since they made it so you can craft torches, and now they go from being worth about 1.5 million to be 2,500, so they completely made torches not really worth anything anymore, so it's gonna become like all of the other items you can craft, and no one's really gonna trade for it, and yeah, torches are not on the secret item part anymore. But next is seeds, now seeds are worth what they cost in the seed shop, and then berry seeds are 10k, that's just what I see it going for mainly, because People trying to buy it are paying 5k, and people trying to sell it are usually wanting 10k to 20k, and people are buying it for around 9k a lot. So 10k is just basically the average. Oh, I don't know why it zoomed out there. Okay, so then after that, we have the flower seeds, that's just what it's going for also, and then we have the trees, which are worth what they're being sold for in the tree shop. And then the saplings are also 10k, because the saplings from the trees are exactly like the berry seeds, where whenever you make an alt and join, you have one, so it's basically exactly the same as a berry seed. And then industrial, all of the conveyors and stuff aren't really that expensive, gilded steel rod 40k, and then the popular things that people are trying to sell and buy, smelters are 500k, same with stone cutter, industrial washing machine is a million, and the industrial food processor is 2 million. I don't know if it's gonna go down again, because it seems like most of the update hype from the food processor update is gone, except for, well, there's still a little bit of hype for it, so it might go down to 1.5 million, but it's probably just gonna stay at 2 million. Next is tools, and the wooden tools you get when you first join the game aren't worth much at all, only 250 coins for the wooden axe and 50 coins for the pickaxe, because some people collect wooden axes. And then all of the gilded stuff is worth almost a million, and then the stations, all of them are the values that they are, vending machines are 150k. And then next is totems. Totems are worth what they're being sold for in the actual totem shop. For some reason, people buy totems and then try to sell them for higher when you can just buy them for that price in the totem shop. Especially with the avocado sapling, people would buy it and then try to sell it for 50k and it would actually sell for that in the beginning of the update. Because some people didn't know that you could actually just buy them from the shop. 
for way less, so they'd pay a lot. But the floral bench, even though you barely need anything for this, people are paying kinda a lot for this stuff in it, because you have to buy a game pass for it. Same with the lighting station, you have to buy the game pass, and it only has a few things on it. Still surprised torches aren't in the lighting station, because they are light, and well that would kinda make sense. But at least you can craft torches without having to buy the game pass. And then the coloring station, all of the stuff is worth a few thousand because it uses flowers. All of the game pass items are 250k. All of the game passes are the same price. So people are just giving 250k for them. For some reason, the lighting station used to be a million. Like, people would usually trade it for a million, and I just checked again to update everything on this list recently, and it was just going for 250k. Firework Barrel, it seems like people would be giving a lot for it since it's a new Game Pass item, but for some reason, it's only 250k. And then oily crops are worth what they're sold for. Or coal 10, iron 20, crystallized iron 75k, crystallized gold 750k, gold 5k. Secret items, test totem 1.5 million, test blueprint 8 million, bedrock and island portal 1 billion, and then the legacy food processor is 2 billion. That's the rarest secret item right now. And then on the slime island, pink sticky year is 100k, blue sticky year is 10k, and then all the other stuff. Fishing, everything is worth what it so what it sells for in the fish shop, and then bait, 500, pearl, 25k, propeller, 950k. Cooking, all of the stuff is worth what it sells for. I didn't get, if it's blank, I didn't get that in the cooking thing yet, so I can't really update it, but I just need four more things, and then I'll update it. And then carpentry station, everything is worth the materials it crafted for, because most of these items, no one is even trading for them, so the most accurate way I can make it is just putting the materials of it, because I've literally never seen anyone try to trade for any of these items specifically. Most people are just trying to trade for the blueprint, and any blueprint is worth 100k, unless if it's the test blueprint, which is 8 million. But the carpentry station is just what stuff is worth. As you see, I have one blank space. That's because I have all blueprints except for one. I think I'm missing one of the striped things. Because there's the striped stuff at the end of it. And I have both of the bacon towels, but I'm missing one of the striped towels blueprints. I think. And then the firework barrel. Fireworks are worth 10k, 20k, and 30k. Didn't see much of people trying to trade for them. But yesterday I saw people buying it for over a million, and then some people were buying it for just like a thousand. So this was the most reasonable price for them, 10k, 20k, and 30k. But Firework Barrel, those values are definitely going to change soon. And the Torch value is probably not going to change, mainly only the expensive stuff changes a lot, or the Game Pass item stuff, or the very, very new stuff. So the Firework Barrel stuff is probably going to change to be higher, because if they remove the game pass, then it's probably going to be worth more, and then if they keep the game pass, it's going to be worth less. So if they remove the game pass for the firework barrel, then it's probably going to be worth 10 million coins for the firework barrel, and then fireworks are going to be probably worth like 25k, 100k, and 500k, maybe. But if they don't remove it, they're definitely going to lower, that's probably going to be like 1k, 2k and 5k so those are all of the values for everything again this will be in my discord server trading channel and pinned messages but values will change in the future based on new updates and ways to get coins values are what it usually goes for and then if items are missing because of a new update then just check my yt and discord server and make sure to subscribe and do the stuff and hopefully this value list helps you guys by the way, if you're wondering if I'm qualified to make a value list, well, I trade all day, except I didn't really trade yesterday. I'm not planning to trade today, because I'm kind of just taking a break from trading. But I trade almost every day, all day, and also I took the averages of what most people are trading this stuff for. So these are basically just what everything is being traded for right now. Thanks for watching, what video should I make next? I'm not really sure what video I should make next, 
but I guess comment it, and if YouTube notifies me of it, then I'll think about it. And also, there's a video suggestions channel in my Discord server if you want to do that there also. But I'll make an obby for 3 billion coins if my obby for 2 billion coins, which is going to be linked in the description, hits 2k likes. Right now, it's above 1k, but not at 2k yet. And, well, I'll also have to trade a lot more to try to get enough coins to do that, because I'm trying to stay above 5 billion. So... I might make that soon, but I'm not really sure what else I should make, so let me know what I should do. But make sure to subscribe, like, join my Discord server in Roblox group linked in the description for trading and talking about Skyblock. But also, not only is the value list in my Discord server, but you can also trade there, because, well, it's in the Skyblock trading channel. And also, follow my Twitter. Sub goal is 200k, let's try to hit that if we can, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, YouTube!